Makita are one of the leading power tool retailers in the industry. With over 300 cordless tools, they are a true giant. And with so many, we wanna try and narrow them down and get you guys some of the best. So we've brought in Simon Bowler of the ITS Expert Panel to run down some of his favorites. Thank you very much. So what I have done is identified five of my go-to tools and machines that are in daily use that I cannot live without and that facilitate my minute-to-minute -minute operation at work on site. So let's see what we got. So I see we've got here, we've got a Makita circular saw, a pretty large one as well, but I've, I've found this hanging off the back of it. Do you care to explain yourself? <laughs> Let me talk to you about this. So. Battery tools these days have an increasing presence on the job site. The technology behind them is getting better and better and is they, they cannot be ignored. But I deal with big lumps of timber, big oak beams, and I need to knock big lumps out of them. So on that basis, I still spend quite a bit of time using corded, powered machines. You just can't beat how much grunt these things have for doing the kind of things that I do on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. So. One of my favourite tools is still a corded handheld circular saw. So I do feel like you're having me on a bit here. You know, I mean, we've already had a circular saw, so I get that this one is a bit smaller, right? Is that is that all we got, or it's a bit smaller? But that's not the only difference. Sometimes you don't need all of the power and all of the bulk of this. Sometimes you need a much smaller, much more nimble machine, and that is where the 18 volt handheld circular saw comes in. Two features on this that I very much like. First of all, you have direct line of sight. Because the blade is on the left of the motor, you can see exactly what you're cutting all of the time. That, and I very much like the fact that it is light enough and nimble enough to use one-handed. Brilliant piece of kit, that. So once again, I do feel like you're having me on because there are two tools here. So there's two tools Can there. you explain your decision? Yeah, well, I chose this kind of as a pair because that's often how they get used and certainly get purchased often as a pair. So the impact driver, this is a mid-range impact driver. We use it for winding in screws, hex head bolts, all kinds of different fixings. And that particular model has never let me down. It's done everything I've ever asked of it. The combi drill, there's a reason it has a side handle that big. This particular model, the torque that it delivers is unbelievable. Do not be fooled. Just because it is a cordless, battery-powered machine, it delivers that amount of torque. That is a safety feature. You've got to be able to hang on to this, and that's why I like it, because it is extremely powerful. So this one, I mean, I know you work with a lot of timber and stuff, so this one, I, I feel like I got right. If I was making the predictions, Orbital sander, I, yeah. I reckon, would be on there. Sander's a pretty obvious choice for me. Uh, I like the orbital sander because it's nimble, it has a soft pad, you can put any different kind of grit paper on there you want, everything from coarse to very, very fine. We use that for removing pencil marks after we've done the laying up, and we also use it for, for example, if we've missed a bit with the big planer on one of our oak beams, and we don't want to go back for a second pass, that will just take the rough surface back to smooth pretty effortlessly to be honest. The battery's great, the portability of it's great, and it is genuinely a go-to tool used on a minute-to-minute -minute basis all day, every day. So I said, you know, I feel like I'm ticking through my, my Simon's, you know, predictions. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see this one coming. Is this a blower? That is a 18 volt battery blower, that is right, yes. Why? So this is the most recent introduction to our set of tools that we carry on a day-to-day -day basis and we use it for blowing the chips out of big mortises that we've dug in oak beams. That's what its primary function was going to be for us but since we've had it we've also found ourselves using it to clear up on the job. It's good for blowing sawdust into a heap in a corner before we shovel it up. It's also good for blowing dust off our backs and out of our fabulous heads of hair and we even use it to clean the vans out. So what, what we bought as a single use item actually has many, many, many different uses. And it's it's just a bit of fun to use, isn't it? The blower, so, I mean, it's just yeah, great fun. You know, it, all the uses, even noisy friends. 
So thank you very much, Simon, for giving us your five favorite, well, I don't know, six favorite tools. I mean, you threw in a couple of curveballs, didn't see the corded tools coming. I certainly didn't see the cordless blower coming, but thank you very much for coming down. Um, if you haven't already, you can check all of these products. Links to them are in the description. And ITS is now home to the Makita Superstore. So if you haven't already, check that out. Thank you very much, Simon. Please follow him on Instagram at Simon Bowler LTV. Thanks for having me. Thank you.